Hello, everybody. Welcome to, wow, 13 of you here already. That's a record for logging on. Maybe you guys want to win some stuff. I think that's what's going on here. Let me uh, make sure I got my, my chats up so I can see what you guys are saying. It's kind of hard to see it here on my phone. I record on my phone because I'm kind of old school. Welcome, everyone who's already logged in. Oh, I'm getting internal server errors. That's going to be horribly annoying if that continues. I intended to come on a couple minutes early, but families happen. There we go. I don't want to edit my channel icon. I want to open my damn video. There we go. All right, now I can see you. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Welcome to Brews and Blades, a very special Brews and Blades. So special, I bought a new Wi-Fi router for this. I've had problems with my internet the last few times. I've actually been streaming to you guys over my own, like, over-the-air thing. And I burned up all my data for the month uh, the last time I did it. So uh, I had to just, and I finally found out by searching on the internet. I have a very small but very powerful internet provider, Greenlight Networks, if you have that in your area. Fiber optic cable, it's freaking fast as hell. But uh, they stopped supporting my router and failed to tell me that. So I had to go buy a different brand of router. Hope everything's all right. Please let me know, guys, if anything is uh, bad here. Because I have the magical power now on my new router of being able to disable my family from being able to use it. I can just turn everybody off so that only I can use it, which is pretty awesome. It's, it's a, I'm drunk with my tiny amount of power is what I'm saying. First of all, yes, this is the 3,000 giveaway video. There's, This is the first of two tonight. The next one is not going to be live after this. If you don't win something and you feel bad, but you really want a new knife, I'm doing a sale after this, but I pre-recorded that because doing the sales live is more than I can handle. So as soon as this is over, it's already uploaded, it's all ready to go. As soon as this is over with, I'm going to put live my for sale video. So I've got a knife sale. I think it's 12, 13 knives on there. Wide range of prices of stuff. I'm really blown out some stuff that I was not expecting to anytime soon. But you know what? I have so many pre-orders that are supposed to be imminent that I just have to. So that's why I'm doing it. And I got a trip coming up for work that I make money on, but I have to pay in advance. You know, I get to buy hotel rooms, all that kind of crap for uh, my uh, for my bike business. So that's why I'm doing that. A lot of cool stuff I never thought I'd sell. It's on there. And some inexpensive stuff that's cool. If you don't want to spend a whole ton of money, you can. Check that out when we're done here. First of all, though, I do want to thank our sponsors for this video. I have some of their stickers up for this giveaway. I do have some stickers up here. I also, you will see as we go on. Weha Tools, who has sponsored us forever. Love these guys. Knife Pivot Lube. They gave us a bunch of stuff. Actually, I added another thing on there. I was I'm on the third place. You're going to get one of those, too, because they sent me some more. White Mountain Knives has been awesome with me. Even if you don't win anything, if, if White Mountain Knives has it in stock, they are a smaller retailer. But if they have it in stock, use SDWMK at checkout. You get 10% off. And I don't get a monetary kickback from that. But they let me buy knives at wholesale, which makes running this channel so much easier and the more you guys buy the more that they are willing to let me keep doing that you guys have been really supporting them i and you should they're awesome guys it's just justin i think it's just the one dude i think honestly but it's a great company to support i love them because they are in new hampshire i am in new york state i get it like basically next day air which is awesome i, I just ordered uh two best techs an engine and the new junzi the one hand uh slip joint on Friday, gonna be here on Monday. It's it's awesome. Like I love ordering stuff from them. It's great. Artisan Cutlery. Wow. I asked them just out of the blue. They they asked they asked if I wanted to review some stuff. I said yeah. Oh hey, do you want to do some giveaway stuff too? And they gave me a ton of stuff. So very very cool of them. Uh, we also have Tuya knives. Uh, they gave a knife away. You'll see shortly. And Giltech, which gave us a ruck of your choice. You'll see that as we go up. I'm not gonna go through all the prizes until I get to the drawings because. Uh, if you already entered the drawing, then you already know what it was. So, all right. A lot of you are already on. We're already at 76 people watching. So I'm not going to make do a whole lot of uh, uh, suspense. I, I we got to do the beer first, though. i got to do that. We have the Southern Tier 2 times Smash 
Uh, this is a double India IPA. I felt like I might want to celebrate tonight, and so this is, where is the label on it? Yeah. 8.1%. So uh, I thought I'd get a, thought I'd get one with some booze in it for this. So where did my, uh, where did my bottle opener Kershaw go? There it is. Kershaw shuffle. I, not a great knife, great bottle opener. Um, I actually have another Kershaw coming that is, uh, also a bottle opener. So maybe this one will get retired and you'll see a different one there. So wine here. Yeah, I'm a wine guy too. Actually, I just went to a wedding last night and um, not uh, not feeling the wine right now. Drank a little bit too much sangria last night. Yeah, it's a double hop. Wow, that's uh, that's potent. Tastes really good though. I like Southern Tier okay. They're not like one of my favorites or anything, but uh, I like it all right. Gear for life thing. Um, I'm gonna do the drawing and then I'm gonna give you a, a little tease to uh, what the knife sale is gonna be if you wanna stick around. I'm gonna for the first time ever specifically ask for some loaners there's one particular thing i really do want if anybody wants to loan me something because there's a video i really want to do and i don't have enough knives to do it so um that's why i'm doing that uh and then we're gonna do q a i'm gonna do some stuff that you guys have sent me over the last 10 months just to answer some questions the most common just only three like most commonly asked questions that i get so uh and then you guys can ask me whatever you want we're just gonna hang out have fun Kind of celebrate a little bit. All right, but you guys want to know the drawing, right? That's all you really want to know. There's 80 on right now. I bet there'll be 30 of you on when I'm done with this, but that's completely fine. I'm fine with that. So we have the iPad up, this comment picker thing. I've already loaded in the URL for the video that you had to comment to. There was 454 last time I looked. Let's see what it comes up to now. 457. All right, so this is for third prize. And third prize is, let me pull them out. I have them then in a little magic Santa bag if Santa had an Oakley sunglasses store bag. Let me pull up here and make sure that I have everything exactly right because I do not want to piss you guys off in this. I'm sorry, that's one thing I thought I had up. So, all right, we have, this was not on there, but I've added it since they sent me another one. Knife Pivot Lube. Amazing. Magical, cool stuff. We're going to talk about that a little bit later, too, because some of you guys are making some comments about that that I don't necessarily agree with. Uh, we have the Weeha little toolkit we do almost every week. And which one is it in the little Santa bag? No, it's not that one. Here we go. And the Tuya Knife Talisman. I guess I'll take it out of the bag here. I probably should have taken these out beforehand, right? I'm not a TV presenter. I'm just a guy who talks about knives and tells jokes to drunk people. So, this is who this person, this is what this person is going to win. You have all three of these things. Two knife talisman, Weeha toolkit, knife pivot lube. All right. I'm going to do it right live in front of you so you know there's no shenanigans going on. Whatever you gotta do, rub some dice, kiss a baby, whatever it is you do for luck. Here we are. And you have 24 hours to respond to me. The winner is Timmy P915. Congrats on 3K. Love the videos, especially the battles to the death. Thank you very much, Timmy P915. Uh, please, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it in the comments down below too. I'm gonna edit that as soon as I'm done. Uh, you've basically got I'll give 48 hours. You have 40 hours to reply to me. And then I'm just going to draw again and try and get a hold of the person that sent it to me. Unfortunately, YouTube's uh, direct message thing is a pain. Or it's gone, basically. So uh, that's not super easy to get a hold of people. But please check that out. Congrats. Somebody said Canada. Is the guy in Canada? I said U.S. only. He doesn't say Canada. If it's Canada, it's going to move on. Because uh, I'm not doing that. I said that specifically in the, in the rules. But all right, now we're going to go on to uh, number two. Oh, Deadpool reference. Okay, cool. Thank you. All right, I thought somebody was from Canada. I very specifically said I'm not shipping to Canada. I have nothing against Canadians. It's a lovely country. I live within shouting distance of there. I literally think if I yelled really loud, they'd hear me. But uh, um, 
I've already lost one knife going to Canada. Well, I didn't lose it. I guess I eventually got it back, but it took like three months. So I'm going to leave these out because next prize still gets these same things. The Wee Hot Toolkit and a tube of Knife Pivot Lube rumored to be made out of unicorn tears and apparently by me, which is kind of an odd thing we'll talk about later. And um, they are going to win this QSP and this QSP, two QSPs and the two things the other person won. So let's show what they are. Opening boxes live on camera is like my least favorite thing to do ever, I think. All right, you have the QSP uh, Parrot, which I love this thing. I think it's one of the best little budget knives you can get. I liked uh, Birdshot 4's video of this. If you watch it, it's really funny because uh, Frankie hated it. Bird loved it. Hashtag Team Bird on this one. It's a, it's a cool knife. In the green, you're going to get that. And also, you are going to get... And none of these have been, like, even used or anything. I didn't even... I haven't even... Actually, I haven't even done reviews on a couple of them, which I probably should have, but... It's been a busy week. And the QSP Phoenix. This thing is awesome. I did record a video on this. It's uh, I haven't put it up yet, but this thing is awesome. D2 steel. Super cool. G10. Awesome. Awesome smooth action. Like, wicked ridiculous smooth action on this very comfortable ergonomics just a great knife i haven't taken any of these apart these are how they showed up to me they're great and you can get them at white mountain knives the, these were white mountain knives uh donations to it by the way this most of this prize package is courtesy of the lovely people at white mountain knives uh you know please support them check it out i probably should have left those out before we do the drawing i'll leave this one out all right what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this again He's still at 457, and here we go. Who's going to get it? Alex Benford. He said, keep up the good work. I just started my, my, my knife collection. I found it in my new addiction. Well, you got a couple more to add to your small knife collection. That's awesome. I like, uh, I like helping, out, helping out some uh, new people, giving them some new stuff. So now you got tools to work on stuff. You got lube to maintain them. You got a couple cool knives. You're all set, man. Congratulations, Alex. Hope you very much enjoy it. I'll do the same. We're going to hit refresh there again, in case there's some last-minute people trying to sneak in. And now, for the grand prize. Let me put this away really quick. I'm trying to make sure to take care of other people's knives before they get them. Awesome little case this comes in, by the way. It's really cool. Okay. The knife pivot lobe the uh, the Weha toolkit a Giltech ruck of your choice other than the titanium ones got to be one of the aluminum ones but uh you can just pick whichever color you want get in touch with me slicey 75 at gmail.com and i will uh pass on your email to them so they know they know who it is they know it's a legit person you're going to wind up ordering it directly from them but you're not going to get charged anything for it and and the uh, Artisan Cutlery Osprey. Where is that? I have to pull out my bag again. I set it aside. This big honking thing. You guys loved this. I was really surprised how much you guys love this. It's a bit out of my wheelhouse, so I wasn't sure how you guys were going to react to it. It's not the usual uh, Slicey Dicey Channel knife, but uh, you guys really loved it. Wabam! I don't know what other sound to make when you open this knife other than wabam. This is a wabammy knife. It is, it's just a big old cleaver. It's super cool. This is the curved G10 model. It's very comfortable, very ergonomic. It's, uh, it's really, really nice. I have one of these squared off uh, Artisan G10s also. I would recommend getting the curve when you can. There's nothing wrong with the squared off one, but these are just so comfy. This and 
This is my contribution to the giveaway. It is a big old slab of steel. You are absolutely right. It's uh, it is a big slab of steel. Your choice of trying. I don't think I can put all these in one hand, but we're gonna try it. Oh gosh, I dropped one on there. No, nope, no scratches. We're all right. Your choice of whatever Civivi you want. And in whatever color you want, whatever, whatever is in stock of White Mountain Knives, if you want to wait a bit for it to be back in stock, that's fine. He's always going to keep them in stock. Some of them that are out of stock right now, I will admit. We have the Naja I just reviewed a couple days ago, the Praxis, the slightly larger one, and my personal favorite, the Backlash. Your choice at any of the three of these. All you got to just let me know which one you want. Give me your address. I will order it from them. I will send it to you. If it is out of stock, though, keep in mind, it might take a little bit. Uh, I'm obviously he can't ship what he has and doesn't have in stock, but uh, we's pumping these things out. They won't be out of stock for long if they are when you order it. I think he said he was going to more in stock like in a couple weeks, so it's not going to be too long. Same with the ruck. He's trying to keep up on some stuff because uh, he and his wife just had a baby, so that's really nice of him. I'm just going to use the Praxis as an example here just to have in front of me. So this is the grand prize drawing. Shaking my table, 106 people watching. Pick a random winner. We have Joshua Newmeyer. Cool prizes, well done, he says. I, I think I know that name. So uh, congratulations. Congratulations, Joshua. You win the big giant new prize. I, I really, really hope you enjoy it. And again, thank you so, so much. Oh, you're on here. Cool. I'm glad somebody's on here. I didn't see if the other two were. Congratulations, man. I really do appreciate I do appreciate everybody subscribing. Um, it's been a whirlwind tour uh, since I started this channel 10 months ago. I was, it was something I hoped would kind of become a thing, but I honestly, I will admit, did not have huge hopes that it will become a thing. Um, for all you guys asking who won, I will, uh, I'll post all of it at, at, in the, in the comments down below. Uh, it wasn't you, Alex Adair. I'll tell you that. I'm sorry. But, <laughs> cause I don't even remember everybody's names completely. I, I'm going to have to go back and look myself. So, uh, um, I really hope that, uh, you guys enjoy all the stuff you've got. I've definitely enjoyed your company. Um, I've enjoyed, uh, just the camaraderie I've gotten out of this, the the welcomeness I've gotten out of this. It's just I was not expecting everybody to uh, welcome me with such open arms as they have, and I very much appreciated it. You guys have been fantastic. Uh, I've gotten a lot of support. Um, the, we are going to change a few things as things go on. Um, I'm, I'm probably going to get away from the Patreon thing. Uh going to go more towards just doing more of these live videos and using that little dollar sign button. Uh, that seems like a much more reliable way to try and make some money off of this. We will be doing a lot more knife sales. That's a thing that's definitely going to happen. I think I've got the wrong piece of plastic on this. Uh, I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more knife sales. Now that I can get stuff for uh, for wholesale, I will buy stuff that I I know that I particularly are not am not going to want to keep, and I will just review them and resell them. So uh, you'll see a lot more knife sales like you're going to see tonight uh, after this is over, stuff like that. Uh, things are going to change, but not my voice isn't going to change. What I do isn't going to change. Um, I The way I talk isn't going to change. The way I review stuff isn't going to change. I've been doing this for 20 years, not knives, but a whole lot of stuff. It's the way it's going to be. So, um, yeah, yippee for knife sales. A lot of people are happy about that. And I do have some local guys, too, and, and another guy in New York City that's not too far from me that I can... It, it's not just going to be my stuff. I'll be selling other people's stuff, too. So, uh, And once I get to know some people, I may feature some other people's stuff. But uh, for now, I just want to stick with my friends and my stuff. So, uh, yeah, but definitely stay tuned. The knife sale after this, it's small, but it's, it's pretty good stuff. Got some pretty good stuff there, and I would really like to move it because I got... Some uh, some pre-orders that I've I've been told are allegedly going to be coming in the next couple weeks. We'll see. That's all I'll say about that. We'll see. Can someone just comment, please, how the quality looks on this? Because as I said, I just spent 150 bucks on a new router, and I really want to know how it's working. So, uh, what blade does everybody have in the pocket today? I've got uh, here. It was Spider Co Sunday, so I've got the uh, my PM2 Crewwear, which I 
freaking love this thing. Good. It looks good. All right, cool. I'm very glad because my wife is even watching TV. I told her to watch TV and I wanted to see how it would work. And that's good to know that my wife can watch TV and I can still do these. It's going to be awesome. So, uh, ooh, Ace Biblio. I'd love to have one of those. So yeah, we do have the, uh, the sale coming up after this. I'm going to give you a slight little tease. I have them all in a box because I recorded this. You ready? That's all you get. That's all you get. That's, that's the stuff that's up for sale later. So um, I don't normally keep all my knives in a big cardboard box. I'm not a, I'm not a Neanderthal. I just recorded the video and that's the one that that's where I set them when I was done gently and carefully, of course, not a pair of three, it's a pair of two. Um, okay. I've tried to sell that pair of three twice actually, and it keeps coming back. <laughs> so it's, I've sold it twice. That, that's, that knife is the reason why I don't sell overseas anymore because it kept coming back. But, uh, again, last thing, last time I'm going to say this again, but thank you guys so much i really 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 appreciate just the how much you guys watch this i i looked at my view hours the other day and it just blew me away i just couldn't i, I couldn't believe how many hours you guys spend listening to to my voice excuse me it's a uh, it's really odd I'm gonna have some more beer to wash down that that burp that apparently wants to come out again Friends wedding last night. I'm, uh, I was not feeling too hot this morning, that's for sure. Uh, what else do we want to talk about? So, um, upcoming stuff I have. I, haven't, I just had an interesting idea for a video this afternoon. It's going to take you falling asleep to my voice. Yeah, you and you and my wife and my kids probably. So, uh, yeah. Um, I uh, one, Some of the things I have coming up. An idea I just had this afternoon that it's going to take some math to do. But I thought it'd be cool to uh, break down. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a video about your favorite knife brands because I know because I have, after ten months and three thousand subs and a bazillion views, I know which videos you guys watch the most. So I thought it'd be fun to do like your top for top five knife brands that you don't know as a whole are your top five. I'm just gonna look through and go by average viewership of each review I do because I notice some brands get a lot of hits some guys some brands you guys don't care a bit about so uh yeah um so I'm gonna do that yeah it's it it's, don't give spoilers key for it that's the obvious answer but uh, <laughs> yeah, everybody's saying Spiderco yeah of course Spiderco gets the most views of anybody that's just the way it is but I think you'll be surprised by uh I'm guessing I haven't done the math yet but I think you'll be surprised by like number three and two so uh Everybody's talking about Tiger. Uh, I don't. I don't give a rat's behind about golf. I. I played a lot in high school. My father was a um, single-digit handicap, and tried to teach me how to play, and was not nice about it. I wasn't bad, I guess. I I got a hole in one once. I did get a hole in one in a par three. That was cool, but I'm done. I I, I don't. I don't watch golf anymore. Um, I'm sure that. All I'll say about Tiger is I'm sure that they're, uh, that Denny's is hopping tonight. That's all I'm going to say about that. I'm sorry. I have to make a, a joke about it. Uh, another thing I have coming up, and this is one time I'm going to make a specific request. If someone wants to loan me a couple of things, um, I want to do, I've done the, I did this on two spider codes. I did the ode to the, um, uh, PM2 and the Manix 2. Another one of my favorite knives I have is the 940. This is my one and only 940. This is the 940-1. And I do love it, but I want to do an ode to the Benchmade 940. But uh, I need a couple more. I've only got this one. If the knives sell really well tonight, there's another one I might buy, but uh, it would be buying it just to sell it again, you know, once uh, the review's over. If anybody wants to loan me a couple of 940s, especially like some old ones, that would be really cool. So, uh, yeah, Ryan, yeah, send me an email. Um, I just, uh, it would be cool just to have some more, uh, some more 940s. Just, I want to have at least three or four to do the, re do the, those art, those reviews. You guys seem to really like them. No, they're not even reviews. 
those kind of retrospective things. I've been doing a whole lot of research on the history of 940s, and I love the 940. And I used to have another one. I had an REI exclusive, but uh, it's I, I just it's more fun if there's more there. Yeah, Ryan. Yeah, please email me. That's a, a, whatever you got. I, I basically the one I want the most is just the basic one. I may buy the 20 CV one, but uh, I, I just kind of want a basic one to compare it to. And if it's I don't care about the age, it'll be fine. So yeah, who doesn't love the 940? You know who doesn't love the 940? Crazy people. That's why. That's what. Yeah, I just we love knives and scars. I thought the 940 was cheesy made. I just called you a crazy person. They're they're great knives. I really love them. So um, all right. Uh, what else do we want to talk about? Okay. I'm just gonna do some Q and A of stuff that uh, you guys have asked me in email, and also um, it's not necessarily bad to be crazy. It's not an insult. Some of my favorite people are nutters. Um, you guys have asked me a lot. I'm only gonna do like three of them. Uh, these are not knife related, and then we'll do some really general Q and A. Um, I'm just gonna bust out, change out some knives here. I'm gonna leave these out because there are sp sponsors for this, but uh, and I'm gonna get it bust out the Tuya too because they were a sponsor and I don't have a sticker for them, so I want to make sure that they get their their camera time. Um, uh, so these are just questions that I get a lot by email and sometimes on these things and um, on these live shows and then quite often on Instagram actually a lot of you guys find me on Instagram so uh, all right uh, one of the number one questions I get is my watch and I'm gonna take it off here it's gonna be schmutzy and gross because I haven't cleaned it or anything for this but uh, my watch is a Seiko 5 automatic. I don't remember which uh, model it is. It's the most basic one. I can't remember which one it is off the top of my head. But uh, I love this thing. It's automatic. I am, uh, I, I believe personally that I have superpowers and I drain batteries because every watch I've had with the battery doesn't last as long as it's supposed to. Um, and also, uh, I shock people like crazy. Like my kids don't want me to touch them during the winter. Cause I always transmit amazing electric shocks. So this is the watch you always see Seiko five. My wife bought it for me. Um, I have other watches. I've had some Casios, all kinds of G shocks. I still have them. Uh, but my wife bought me this for Christmas last year. Never left my wrist. Yeah. Do not get into watches. Yeah. It, this I'm perfectly happy with it. I love that. It's an automatic. I jokingly call it my, uh, my, um, old timey Fitbit because if I don't move around enough during the day, it stops working. So it tells me, Oh, you didn't move around enough today because it's an automatic. It winds itself as you move around. And if you don't move around enough, it quits working. So, you know, no, I'm not going to become Nick Shabazz. I don't have that much money. I'm happy with my one watch. I don't need another one. It's perfectly fine. The only thing I would ever buy different is a fancier version of the same exact watch, another Seiko Automatic, because I really, they're reasonably priced. They're very cool. Another question I get again, not knife related. I'm going to try and go through these fast. Uh, another question I get not knife related is, uh, and it's weird. I don't know why I get this question. It's a very odd question for you guys, but I guess you care about it. I get, what shoes do I wear? It's a really common question I get. I don't, I don't know why. I'm going to take one off. I'm just going to show you. Um, I am a keen guy. I have been for a very long time. Uh, I used to be, I used to have a deal with keen that I could get them at half price. So I probably have a dozen pairs of Keens around because I always could buy them for half price. Uh, these are Keen Unique Exos, and I got these a couple months ago, and holy hell do I love these shoes. These are the best pair of shoes I've ever owned, hands down. I don't think they're too expensive. I think uh, retail, they're 70 bucks, 75 something like that. They're not bad at all. I don't have the deal with Keen anymore. I did buy these just at REI. My son and I bought the same ones. His are black, mine are the blue. Uh, Keens are awesome, man. They're comfortable. I have a pair of Keen, uh, 
Wow, they're dirty. Now that I'm seeing them in the camera. They're really dirty. Sorry about that. I just literally took one off my foot and put it on the camera. I have a pair of Keen uh, H2Os. Um, oh, I thought they were right here. They're not. I have a pair of Keen uh, Newport H2Os I've had for, God, 10 years? I don't know. Ten, about 10 years, and they're still fine. Um, they're little attractions worn off here and there, but other than that, they're completely fine. Love Keens. Great. I'm just answering questions, Kiefer. Don't give me a crap. Don't give me crap. You guys asked about it. This is the last one I'll say, and I don't have anything to show you about it because I forgot to bring them up. I'm not wearing them today because uh, I'll admit it's been a lazy day, and I put the pants back on I wore to the wedding last night. So um, I'm wearing a pair of, I don't know, I think Calvin Klein corduroys or something today, but uh, yeah, I'm not even going to bother to try to pull up the iPad. So, but I just get general clothing questions. Um... What do you wear? What do you like? Uh, big fan of cool pants, K-U-H-L. Uh, awesome pants. They're really cool. And Nick Shabazz wears them. So I didn't even know that when I got them. But uh, Nick Shabazz wears them too, so I felt very cool. Um, and uh, cool pants. I like. I have a cool jacket. Um, and then I wear whatever free t-shirt I got at something. Or really nerdy, what re really stupid nerdy uh, shirts. I like, I have way too many Doctor Who shirts. I have way too many Star Wars shirts. I have way too many stuff like that. Uh, what about your ring, titanium? That's a, actually a very good question. And this is somewhat knife related because a lot of us do, uh, a lot of you, not me, a lot of you do work in more uh, hardcore work environments. So my wedding ring is actually tungsten. This is why I got a tungsten ring. Uh, I've been married a couple times, and uh, my previous wedding ring was titanium, and I was told by my friend that's an EMT, they can't cut that off of you easy at all. Um, so when I went to go get a new wedding ring for, for this marriage, which is going to last forever, uh, I asked the jeweler and my friend who's an EMT, what is the hardest metal I can get that you can still they can still cut off in an ambulance? He said tungsten so that's what i have i have a tungsten wedding ring 75 bucks something like that but i also wear a lot and i highly recommend any one of these but kalo is the brand that i got um because i got them and uh got it at rei but these are awesome these little silicon wedding rings they're really great uh and i don't don't remember at all how much it is but i like it's in this little baggy zip thing because I can just zip it up and then when I'm when I'm wearing it my real ring is inside there and I don't lose it so uh do you use a safety razor I do use a safety razor how did you know uh yeah I um I I have not gotten into collecting safety razors I feel like that's another thing that I would go insane about I honestly just have I don't remember the brand I bought it at a shave shop somewhere that was like a shave specific place i know it was like 50 bucks but i honestly i'm sorry i don't remember the brand of it but it works great and uh i actually just got my 19 year old son to start using them too I, that's something i just discovered a couple years ago man safety razors are the way to go you don't need seven blades one that's positioned properly is fine uh tom breaker tom baker is the greatest doctor of all time I would say, uh, well, my doctor is uh, Eccleston, but uh, I would say my favorite doctor since I started, because you know, your doctor is the one when you, I started watching when it rebooted. My favorite's David Tennant, but uh, yeah, Tom Baker's pretty good. Did I ever try a straight razor? Um, no, I, I, well, I did. I said, take the back. I did have one. Uh, I inherited one from my grandfather. I used it, a, sharpened it up, used it a few times, and I put it away. It's a, but it, that's, it, that's, I don't trust myself enough that early in the morning. So uh, I like the safety razor. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I was very late to the party too, Rick. Uh, safety razors are amazing. Get get one. Get one. Yeah, I'm showing my age <laughs> by like, in a, are you into Tom Clancy? Oh, here's celebrity name dropping. Met Tom Clancy twice. Uh, yeah, so um, a lot of people don't, I, he has a security clearance, and I was in the Air Force, and uh, he came to my base twice, and I hung out with him and showed him around, and they, they let him do, they let him look at stuff and everything, I was told I could show him whatever, and we didn't have anything super classified there at the time anyway, but no, I hung out with Tom Clancy uh, 
twice. Good, good dude. Seems like seems like a really nice guy. And I, you know, I have not, but I, I I've read, I've read a a few of his books. I was really in them for a while. I admit I have not read them for at least like a decade or so. But uh, I used to read a lot of his books a lot. I'm not as much into the... I'm really into sci-fi now, so I read a whole lot of sci-fi books pretty much when I have time to actually sit down and read a book. But, um, yeah, Tom seems like a good dude. Um, oh, you're giving the uh, the Lions update? I, I, I'm a Jets fan, so, uh, you know, we played Thursday night, but, uh, hey, we did beat the Lions. That's all. You don't read it all? You know, there's no shame in that. The audiobooks now, man, I, I listen to so many audiobooks because I have to drive... I'm pop a taxi and have to drive everybody around everywhere i have audiobooks in my car playing all the time i don't play a whole lot of uh, music in my car although i will admit kind of obsessed with the new Nicki minaj album i know it's not fitting my demographic but uh that new Nicki minaj album it's pretty awesome i do have to say uh i'm a baker mayfield yeah uh sorry no don't be apologetic we're gonna post the uh again i'll post the um the winner's down below here as soon as we're done but yeah i think audiobooks are one of the best advancements of modern society and i'm actually looking into getting into uh working to do some of those to do audiobooks to do voiceover work so uh hope i can get that would you guys listen to me read an entire book i'm gonna use your uh stuff as um uh i know i don't like Nicki minaj personally either but that new album is really good um yeah, I have the new Eminem too. The new Eminem's not bad either. I love hip hop. I'm just, uh, I've just been that way. Normally not mainstream hip hop. Normally I like really awkward, weird nerdcore stuff. But uh, I, the new Eminem and the new, new Nicki Minaj are really good. Um, she, uh, she sold more copies. Than, <laughs> I'm sure she sold more than her IQ number. I'm sure she sold more in her first uh, two minutes. MC Friend a lot. I'd like, yeah, he's pretty good. I actually know MC Chris. He's uh, kind of a mild friend of mine. If you're into nerdcore stuff, I'm going to see him in the, on the 6th. Cool guy. Interpol, I saw live in Germany. Uh, I do like that kind of music too. So I have pretty wide music tastes, except for country music. I can't stand country music. Neither country nor Western. I hear front lot's really nice. I've never gotten a chance to meet him though, but I know uh, MC Chris because we almost did a thing together and then it fell through, but we kind of got to know each other. While we were trying to do that, could you read the book without commenting on it? If I was paid enough? Absolutely. Uh, even Death Metal? Yeah, I listened to a little bit of Death Metal. I like uh, Sword, I think is the name of that band. I like... Um, uh, what's some of the other ones I got? I'd have to, I'd, my phone's uh, closed up. I never remember the names of anything, so, um, Korn, ugh, I hate them. You know, I saw Korn, like, in the, in the 90s before they were famous, and, like, no one was there, and, uh, I was, I just thought, what the hell is this crap, and walked out before it was done. It was just, like, at a bar somewhere. Another review I've got coming up, I'm gonna finally do a full review on the Caligo. It's been way too long to do that. Uh, have I ever been through Delaware? Uh, I've been to Delaware. I think I've been through Delaware. I'm not sure I've been to there. Yeah, careful, showing your age. I'm 43. I don't. I don't hide my age. I'm fine. Um, it was early corn. I, there's a couple songs in there I like. All right, but uh, back in that day, man, they were terrible. Um. Yeah, Delaware is kind of a through state. Have I, have I stayed overnight in Delaware? I'm not really sure. Not really sure. Massachusetts, a bunch of times. Yeah, you kidding me? Of course. I'm Irish. I live next door. I've been to Boston a whole bunch. I saw, speaking of music, I saw Run DMC and the Beastie Boys in Boston when I was uh, 15 years old, when I was supposed to be somewhere else. And I snuck out of that thing and went to go see Run DMC and the Beastie Boys. 47. I think that's... um. I think it's a pretty common age. Michigan? Yeah, I've been to Michigan a whole lot. Been all over in Michigan. Um, saw Nirvana at a club in front of 25 people. That's awesome. I did meet Kurt Cobain once, but um, it was uh, right as they started to get famous, and it was backstage at a Blind Melon concert that he happened to be hanging out at. I didn't see them perform. I met him for two seconds. I didn't know I should have spent a whole, nobody was around him. I could have spent an hour with him, and I I didn't. And that's one of my life's biggest regrets. 
regrets is that I didn't spend more time with Kurt Cobain. I just met him for like two seconds. Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Love the album and walked away. Yeah, Blind Melon. Blind Melon was great. Um, it's a bit of a sore subject with me. I don't really want to talk about them. I, I knew the, the lead singer of Blind Melon fairly well, and he died, and it made me sad. So uh, I don't like talking about it. Um, yeah, Shannon was pretty obviously on the way out. I only knew these people because I worked in college radio. I'm not famous. I don't like know a bunch of famous people. I just was in college radio. And at that time, it, that's when everything was blowing up and I got to know all these people. So uh, can, can we have a list of your top 10 beers? Wow, that's like picking my top 10 children. I only have two. Um, I will say uh, my favorite beer brand, and it depends on it, is Three Heads Brewing from Rochester, New York. Love them. Um, Almost everything they make is great. Uh, I would say, uh, I will do five. And um, I like, oh, uh, I used to like Goose Island a lot. Now they got bought out and not really as into them as much as I used to be. Um, uh, I like Southern Tier. I'm drinking tonight. And I like, um, uh, if I just want a generic regular beer, I like, uh, Stella, Stella Artois, I love that, um, and I like, uh, probably PBR, honestly, I really like PBR, it's, I, I, I like PBR, and it's cheap, uh, favorite alcohol besides beer, scotch, uh, I like, uh, a good, a good single malt scotch, I'm not super particular on the brand, okay, so, uh, the KPL thing came up again, and I meant to talk about that, so, um, I'm going to bring that up. So the KPL thing, I got, <clears throat> I kind of, um, yeah, so there are people saying PBR. PBR is awesome. I don't know everybody looks down on it. it. It tastes good, and it's cheap as, cheap as chips. Uh, the KPL, Knife Pivot Lube. The reason why I wanted to talk about this is it has become a bit of, as they would say, uh, kerfuffle. Uh, favorite wine, Beaujolais. Um, so this stuff works really well. And a lot of us have done YouTube reviews about it, not just me. A whole lot of people have said it's great. And but everyone just says, "No, you're all full of crap. It's snake oil. All this cra all this crazy stuff." If a whole bunch of us are saying it's great, may maybe maybe it's just great. You know, possibly I'm not saying it's going to solve world hunger, but it works really well. I use Nano Lube, been using it since the day I started this channel, and I love it. But this stuff is mostly better. Now, it only comes in one weight, so there are definitely times when the, uh, the other, the, you know, Nano Oil, when you can select a heavier weight or a lighter weight. This is kind of between the 5 and 10 Nano Oil. So there are times when I'd rather I use the heavier stuff still. But if I'm going to use the 5 or 10, I've been using this, and man, it works great. The only thing I don't like about it is it smells like cherries. That That's it. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But the conspiracy theories here, especially, like, if you go on Instagram, holy crap. I was directly accused of being the guy that makes it. Like, that's a thing that happened. That somebody on Instagram said that I'm the one who makes this stuff. Are you kidding me? Like, I... I don't, I drive a 2006 Subaru. I don't have the capital to start making knife lube and sending it out all over the planet. It's just, it's insanity. I just don't get why people get so wound up about stuff. It's just, uh, it's in crazy. It's just in, in crazy. It's just crazy. It's, it's nuts stuff. Uh, if you made this stuff, I, I'd be more, in, more inclined. I seem meant to say inclined to buy it. Yeah, well, I'm not, I, yeah, I don't make it. I'm sorry. I wish I did. But, and it's not expensive. And what I don't get to is people are saying, oh, you just want people, you're just trying to make people spend too much money on lube. This is cheaper than nano lube that we've all been seeing for years is amazing. This is way cheaper than nano lube. So we're kind of, we're kind of promoting the, a thing that's cheaper, but people are saying we're trying to get people to spend more money. I just, it's unfathomable to me, but a whole lot of things I see on 
on social media are unfathomable to me. So that's not a that's not a surprise. I'm gonna switch some knives out just to. A, oh, that's weird. I have this over here. I forgot I carried this a couple days ago. The Kershaw Concierge. Still really really liking this. Yeah, it's ten bucks. It's not it's not expensive, and this stuff lasts forever. I've done almost every single one of my knives with it. Where's my actual one? Here it is. Let's see if it comes across in camera. This is my actual one. Yeah, it's not going to. They put the sticker all the way around it, but God, it's full all the way up to like here. And I've done almost every knife that I own or that I regularly carry anyway in it since I got it. So favorite thing to present rust on knives. I used to use mineral oil, but I just did a video on this. If you want to go back and look, I used to use mineral oil, uh, but I had to reapply it a fair amount. Now I use the uh, EDCI Aegis stuff. GP Knives has it, and I think you can buy it directly from the site. Awesome, 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 awesome stuff. It's, it, as I said, it's cured me in that video. I said it's cured me of being worried about carrying a non-stainless knife. I don't live in a super salty, humid environment, so I can probably get away with more than uh, you guys can, but um, if you live like in the South, but you know, this is my, my crew wear I carry all the time, and it's not technically a stainless steel, and it's always been fine. Um, you're waiting for it to get FDA, FDA certified food safe. Yeah, I, I'm sure it's going to, but I don't blame you. I'm sure it's gonna, but it, there's nothing in the ingredients that looks to me like it wouldn't be. But um, I'm not gonna drink it to find out. But <laughs> I don't do a whole lot of food prep with my folding knives. Luckily, my son is a is uh, in culinary school, so we have lots of really fancy knives around, which is handy. So uh, kitchen knives. So I don't. I do use a uh, an open owl a lot down there. I got the big open owl number ten with the the uh, corkscrew in it. That's a common kitchen knife. Will BD one rust easily? Not in my experience. It's always been fine. I haven't had a whole lot of it. I admit, but it's always been all right. Um, yeah, open owls are great. I everybody needs to have an open owl. I think the next giveaway I do, I'm definitely gonna make sure there's an open owl included in there just to make sure. Uh, Manix 2, or Manix Lightweight. Yeah, I've had the Manix Lightweight for a really long time. It's never rusted. And I put that thing through hell in a handbasket, and it's never rusted. It's always been fine. But again, I live in upstate New York. I don't live in the really crazy... If I lived in Louisiana or something like that, I'd feel more comfortable saying, no, it, it's not going to rust. But um, uh, I don't live in that rusty of an environment. So uh, Except the winter, if you're on the roads, then everything rusts. Um... Manix Lightweight is my top three. Probably me too. I love the, uh, love the Lightweight. Carrying your waistband sometimes sweat. Yeah, I don't know. I've, I've been, I've used mine in some pretty, it's got, definitely got some sweat on it, but uh, where do you find mineral oil? I found this particular one on, um, I, I'm sure I got it on Amazon, but what I like it a lot too is that even if you are going to use the Aegis, uh, the EDCI stuff on your blades, what this is really nice for is if you have a G10 that got, yeah, you can just get it anywhere, but I bought this at, on Amazon, but um, it's really great on G10. If you've got a really dried out G10, uh, you can just um, squish on it. Oh, that's gross. There's a dead bug stuck to my mineral oil. That's really disgusting. Sorry you had to see that. That was really gross. Um, you can just use it on a little bit on a piece of um, cloth and rub it on some G10 and it makes it kind of pop and come back to life. So, uh, Do you think the Spyderco Drunken is going to be worth uh, $400? Uh, don't know. Not to me. I have no interest in that thing. It's just something I just don't like the look of. Um, I said that with some vitriol. I didn't mean that. It's just uh, the Drunken isn't something I'm even remotely looking forward to trying. Seeing it two year for this long is making me want one. Is it available only on Amazon? No, you can get it, um, <clears throat> it's kind of a long, a Warren C. Blades, it's like dot my sites dot something. Best to look up Tuya Knives on Facebook is the easiest way to find a link to his site. It's pretty long. Or go back and read any of my two year reviews and it's in there. You can find it. Um, I do have the spider codes I have coming up are the Amalgam. Excuse me, sorry, I bumped the camera. Amalgam and um, the smock are the two I've got reserved. So, uh, And the Kapara and the Mantra 3 are two I'm going to try and get, but I did not reserve them. And I, 
I kind of get why I didn't reserve the Capara, but I have no idea why I didn't do a pre-order for the Mantra 3. I just brain farted. That was dumb of me, but uh, I got it coming up. I have um, tomorrow, I've got a, my own Best Tech engine. If you guys want to go back and look, I did a review of the Best Tech engine. Cool little knife. Love it. But unfortunately, I had to send it on to somebody else. I have my own Best Tech engine coming and the Best Tech Junzi, the little one hand slip joint thing. I'm excited about both of those. And that little Kershaw, I can't remember what they call it. I keep wanting to say the Barman, but that's not it. That little friction folder with the cap lifter on the end of it. I love little knives. So I've got three little knives coming tomorrow. Um, I'm going to order some other stuff. Uh, Best Tech Parrot. I had the par I had the prototype of the Parrot. Pretty cool. Um, I didn't care for that really large hole in the back. It really dug into my palm. I really hope that they've changed that. But um, So right, Precision Oil works. Yeah, the problem I've had with sewing machine oil is... Um, it, maybe it's just my pockets, but uh, the lint in my pocket seems to just be sucked into that stuff like a magnet. And it's kind of odd because it's sewing machine. It's around fabric all the time, but that's just my what I, my experience with sewing machine oil is why I used it at the beginning and I quit using it immediately because it just was sucking up every little bit of dirt and lint in my pocket. Um, any opinions on the Fox Knives? Never had one. I would love to. Kershaw Pub. I knew it was about booze. I was close. The Kershaw Pub. Yes, I have the Kershaw Pub carbon fiber and those two best techs coming tomorrow. Pretty excited about that. Um, do you have any like Tucson? I don't have any. I, I do kind of want to get some Tucsons. I've always been close to getting one, but haven't. Um, but especially, I, I follow uh, Night Morning Designs on um, Instagram, and wow, he's had some really cool ones coming out. So I think the the odds that you're going to see some two sons here in a while are, are pretty pretty high because I'm loving the stuff he's putting out. Hair clipper oil. Never tried it, but uh, I didn't, um, didn't, I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. It, it's the right thickness and stuff. It'd probably work fine, but I've always found hair clipper oil always sucks up stuff. And same thing I would say, somebody's asking KPL compared to real oil. I've always found real oil sucked up little pocket lint stuff that's uh that's the stuff i found is the the nano oil and the kpl are the two that i've used the most that don't suck up all that pocket lint uh should have the neutron coming soon when you're on the list oh congratulations they are awesome uh i i love the neutron great 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 knife better buy kershaw dividend m390 or rat 2 d2 oh um I'm going to say Dividend M390 because that's a ridiculous deal when you can get them. Uh, do you use Shave Secret? Apparently not because I don't know what it is. Uh... Oh, you can't go visit TRM? Well, you know what? They said I could come visit if I wanted to. Just saying. Uh, have you heard anything about the North Arm Skaha 2 yet? Um no, I have not. Uh, yeah, I've been waiting forever, too. I'm sure we'll hear. I did hear that they're expanding, which is great news. So um, that'll be cool. Uh, as I said, just to remind you guys, I am getting rid of the Patreon. So um, I'm not going to get rid of it, but uh, I don't think I'm ever going to hit the goals I had on it. So if you ever want to kick me any bucks, hit that little dollar thing down below. It's a lot easier than dealing with Patreon stuff. Multi-tools. Um, Oh, I left my keys downstairs. I have various Leathermans. I've got a Leatherman uh, Style CS on my keys all the time. I have a Leatherman... Uh, which one is it? The uh, Oh, that one's actually here. I have a, I have a Wave. That sits uh, in my garage because I actually use it. And then in my EDC pack that I just grab when I need it, I have the Arev. That's what it is. So I have three Leathermans. And I have various other ones I've been... Um, given by people and stuff but yeah the we practic m390 is oh bumped it with my hat again fantastic i love the the practic it's great i actually am about to do my first uh, attempted dye job on that so um i'm gonna get um dye in black i've got the brown one and i i thought i could handle it and i can't i have to have it be black so i thought i thought i could get past the brian speck and i can't so i'm gonna dye the scales black was this a Benza really worth the investment? I would say absolutely yes. It is a gorgeous knife. 
I don't own mine anymore. I had it for a while. It was worth the money. I will never say it wasn't worth the money. I really should have gotten an Nkosi. If I'd have gotten an Nkosi, I'd still own it, I'm sure. Uh, but I didn't, and then I sold it, and then stuff keeps coming out, and I just haven't haven't gotten the the funds together to get an Nkosi. But I would love to have an Nkosi with the inlays. It is one of my grail knives. That is something I would like, but every time I've got the money up to get one, I buy two of something else to do reviews on instead. So, uh, but I do, the Sebenza was absolutely worth it. It's, it just, it wasn't, I didn't get the right Chris Reeve my first time. So I got a good deal on it. I made money on it. It's fine. So I'm um, waving my hand to make sure it's still working on it. There we go. You guys got quiet for a minute. How many people are we still got on? God, 75 of you. Holy crap. Are you going to review the Riyadh Jack? Um, when I get one coming through, I, I think I'm getting a loaner of one, but I'm not sure. I was all set to buy one. I would have had to sold a whole lot of stuff, but um, it's just too big for me. I know I wouldn't keep it, so I, I, didn't, I didn't get it. Might still, <clears throat> might still get one at some point, but um, I'm getting a custom Victor. Oh, that's something I wanted to show you guys. I just got a limit, one of the limited cadets. This thing is really nice. It really is the, just the craftsmanship on this is fantastic. And it comes in this cool little box. Where is it? It's right here, actually. I love the box it comes in, the little limited edition box. It's that cherry red one. It's awesome. I'm very, very impressed with it. The only thing I'm not impressed with, I admit, this is the first Alox cadet that I've owned. Uh, man, that, that little key ring thing there definitely catches you right in the palm that's not awesome but uh, other than that i love it. it's very well made very cool this is going to be in my pocket a whole lot i just picked up the plasma rifle uh, are we in star wars talk now or is that a thing that i just don't know what it is because if you can buy plasma rifles i'm not a big fan of guns but i wouldn't mind having a plasma rifle that'd be kind of fun saving up for a gavin hawk mud those look cool nothing i need but it does look pretty cool um any other two and a half inch recommendations? I have an absolute two and a half inch recommendation for you. I just did a video on it. I'm going to pull it out here. Hold on. I just did a review on it, and since I've been, um, what's wrong with guns? Nothing wrong with guns. I don't, I'm not an anti gun guy. They're just not for me. I used to have to carry one 24 hours a day and for my job, and, uh, just got to a point I did not enjoy it anymore, so I stopped, and I have no interest in getting another one. But just a uh, just a personal decision of me. So um, yeah, I'm not. I won't give anybody crap if they got guns, but uh, don't like them. Don't want one. So uh, don't like having them around. Just kind of a me thing. All right, uh, the one I recommend your two and a half inch question, especially your federal employee. Don't, don't they all lie and say we all make a lot of money? And if we're federal, I used to be a federal employee. I didn't make a lot of money, but that's what they say. But uh, yeah, the TRM Atlas, Three Rivers Manufacturing, get you one of these for a two and a half inch knife. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And it's a slip joint, so there's not gonna be illegal like anywhere. Get your hands on one of these, they are awesome. Uh, Medfords are awesome. I wasn't into Medford at all. I can, I can kind of, I just got that Praetorium production. It was cooler than I thought. There's a couple other models I've seen that have kind of appealed to me, but not enough to lay down the cash for one. Uh, one company that I said the same thing about before, but, uh, the Hinderer, now I'm kind of into Hinderers. I, I, this is a ZT Hinderer, obviously, but I really want an XM18, the new Gen 6 one. I want one of those very, 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 very bad. Uh, Leatherman Charge has S30V blade worth the $170 price tag. I personally would never pay $170 for a um, multi-tool. I just, I think, because they're going to get beat up and broken. Cold Steel, Tough Light. Yeah, um, they're, they're, they seem to be great. I've never had my hands on one, but everybody keeps telling me to get one. It's been in many, 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 many of my shopping carts and never gotten it. Yeah, the Wave is the way to go, I think. Um, 
Skewer. Kaiser planning on making a Vanguard version of the T1. I love the T1, but hate metal hand. No, I haven't heard anything about that. Uh, how do you like the Benchmade Fact? I actually just got to handle one three days ago. Uh, kind of cool. Not really my style, but uh, I, it, it seems pretty awesome. I, there's, uh, I live in New York State, and I could carry it outside of my city area, but even in anywhere in my city, that would be uh, way too long to uh, carry. I've got three inch in one area, and then three and a half in a lot of the suburbs that I go to. Uh, wave or Surge? I got over 60 bucks, but it's 80 bucks. And I'm thinking, uh, yeah, the Fortis 2.0. I've got one coming um, on the pass around, and I bet that's going to be one that I'm going to handle in the pass around and wind up buying. I have a Dow coming, the Ferrum Forge Dow from uh, Mass Drop. That's going to take forever. I think estimated delivery was February <laughs> or something insane. So that's going to be a long time. Yes, the fact is super stabby. You skipped the Dow. I skipped the one before the buck. I skipped the buck and I liked the Dow. Have you ever think about on the bare knuckle? I've heard the bare knuckle is really close. That is one. Thank you, Kiefer. Go Lions. We beat you. Thank you, though. Um, I do uh, I do hear the bare knuckle is coming very close, but... How does the gent compare... The Fair and Forge gent compared to the Neutron for smaller EDC? I, you know what? That sounds like a battle to the death. I never thought about comparing those two. I haven't really even thought about it. Uh, I do carry them in that both in that same kind of role. They're both... Really nice knives that are kind of hard to get your hands on. Yeah, that makes total sense, doesn't it? From the mouths of babes. Uh, I don't know how old you are. You, you may be older than me, I don't know. But thank you, RMS725. I'm going to write that down so I don't forget about it. That's one. I have an extra spot this week, too. I've got some other reviews coming up that I'm not allowed to do yet. So let me put down... Neutron versus Gen. I own both of them. That's awesome. Good afternoon, Reckless Ma. So, uh, I don't know which one will win. The Neutron is super, super slicey. I know the Neutron's got a better blade, I can tell you right now. There's nothing wrong with the one on the Gent, but that Neutron blade is pretty much invincible, in my opinion. But, uh, oh, you got the Gent with the carbon fiber scales? I, I didn't. Just because the delivery date was so far out, that I, and I was already mad at Mass Drop about the Perpetua being taken forever, I didn't want to wait for another one. So, um, one's a thud stub, one's a slipper, a flipper. Yeah, but it's still they're about the same thing. Yeah, I think it's gonna be. Uh, I, I think that's a really good idea, man. I'm really, I'm definitely gonna do that. Definitely gonna do that. So, uh, uh, you need to send your Perpetua back to look at it. Mine was great. Mine was perfect. My, I had no problems with mine. And I know, like, JT's Knife Life had three, and his were all fine. But I do know some people have had problems. I'm not denying people have had problems. But uh, mine's been awesome. It's actually been probably my most carried knife since the day I got it. I really, really like it. I Like I said, I backed that one screw off a quarter inch, so it loosened up when I first got it. And then uh, since then, I've dribbled a little. I didn't I haven't taken it apart because I hate taking the freaking axis locks apart. But I dribbled some oil in it and cranked that screw back down a bit once it broke in, and it's been awesome. It's been really, really good. Uh, true utility EDC. Not yet. I'm going to just start doing more EDC. We're getting there. I kind of dipped my toe in it with the Ruck, which, oh, I love this thing. I dipped my toe in there with that, and uh, I got a wallet coming, and I have another um, one of these utility knives coming. I'm dipping my toe in there. I'm going to do more EDC stuff. It's going to take a while, though. Uh... Well, Millet, if you're emailing Millet about getting a perpetual, you're kind of emailing the wrong people. That was a mass drop thing. Um, and it, Millet just made it. They weren't they weren't handling anything to do with shipping it or anything like that. And, uh, if I, well, all right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut this short only because I got knives to sell, and I know you guys are excited about that too. So, we're going to stop the live portion of it, but we are going to the slide Outdoor Edge Slide Winter. I have one on the order, but it's going to take forever. They're back ordered right now. Anywho, interrupted my own self. Um, I'm going to put up a little knife sale video. 
after this. So thank you guys again so much for helping me to hit 3,000. I appreciate it more than I can possibly express. I love doing these live shows. They're so much fun. Uh, if I keep gaining subs, uh, there's a good chance I'm going to start doing these weekly instead of bi-weekly. Uh, I'll probably do every other week for this Bruise and Blades, and then I, I'm just going to go randomly live at one night a week when I know I have time. Uh, I work at night a lot. I'm a stand-up comic, so it depends on the nights I have time. So, But I love doing the live stuff. I want to do more of it. Maybe even with my face on it instead of doing this hands down thing because I think it's kind of boring for live stuff. But <clears throat> and I'm running out of voice. Another reason to cut it short. So I'm gonna stop. But as soon as I stop this, while it's processing, you're gonna immediately see a video go live with a for sale thing. Email me at slicey dicey seventy five at gmail dot com. Tell me the knives you want. We'll get it done. Road to one million. That's a long road, but thanks, BP. I appreciate it, and I appreciate all of you guys for coming and hanging out with me on a Sunday night. Have a good one. Go watch the Lions lose.